So you've made a few materials, now you wanna do some textures. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Unreal Engine 4 again, taking a look at how to create textures. So we're gonna get started today. I want to start out on the diffuse that we've made in the previous tutorial. If you did not catch that tutorial, I will put that up in a link at the top of the video right now, and it will also uh, be at the end of the video most likely. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and we're gonna duplicate this diffuse texture we have here, the diffuse material we have here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add some materials to this. Uh, so what I want to do is, hold, is we're going to right click, I'm going to type in uh, texture. I'm going to get te texture sample, enter right there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug this top piece into the normal. And I'm going to go ahead and drag out from this texture and, and type in texture and get a texture object. All right, so now we have that all set up. We're going to instantly have a texture load in because that's the default texture. Um, I'm going to go ahead and with the texture object selected, hit this drop down box and we're going to scroll until we find something we want to uh, to use. I'm just going to go with cobblestone pebble. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll go with cobblestone pebble. Uh, you know what we'll do? Actually, wait for this one. We will actually go with concrete panels. I'm going to pick this one that says in for normals. Um, oh, maybe we'll go with this one. I'm going to pick this in, the one that says in for normals. Uh, instead of the one with the color, we're actually going to pick the um, the normal map. So, as you can see, instantly we have some really cool uh, brick, concrete, cobblestone texture going on here, which is really nice, really high quality textures that come with the starter content. Um, and if you don't have the starter content uh, because you said no starter content, then, uh, but that's fine, you can use your own textures, but I'm just using that for the purpose of the tutorial. So, uh, we have that uh, all set up. We can actually go ahead and scale this if you want to by going ahead and right clicking typing in texture uh, coordinate I'm actually gonna do a video on this uh, separately um, I mean I'm doing it right now it's just it's really simple but I want to do a video on it separately so it's just in that video alone but right now we will go ahead and do that uh, I typed in texture coordinate and plug that into the UV of the texture sample uh, and we go over here to U T U U T tiling <laughs> U tiling and a V tiling you can go ahead and change this to point to 0.4 and 0.4 and you can see that this will get bigger now if we go uh, larger with the number you can see that the tiles will get smaller right there right there all right so now we have uh, a really cool uh, base texture for this one right here we can go ahead and close that now um, go ahead and clo clo close and actually what we can do is instead of closing that we can get rid of our basic color here actually we'll get rid of that and um, we will actually right click type in texture and put in a te another texture sample we could actually just go ahead and select this one we have right here hit control W to duplicate move that up there plug this into the base color and do the same thing here copy and paste the texture object with control W Right there, and wherever your mouse is at is where mouse is at is where it will actually copy it to. So um, that's just a little tip for you. Uh, we can plug that into the texture right there. Move these down, um, and instead of using the normal map for the texture, we can actually use the regular texture now. So we can use the M. Is that the right one? I think that is the right one. Yeah, that's it right there. Uh, so we can use that, and we also have to do the texture coordinate because, as you can see, they don't match anymore. So we can go ahead and duplicate the texture coordinate, put that right there to scale this as well. Plug that into the UV, and now we should have it being perfectly right. There we go. All right, so uh, that's a little bit too small, so maybe I want to go back down to the one. I'll just go back down to the one for this purpose of this tutorial. I just wanted to share that really quickly. Like I said, I'm going to make a video specifically on just scaling down textures and put that in a video by itself, but for now, so now we have that cool looking brick. I don't know what it looks like. It's a uh, brick from Brazil. That looks really cool. Really, really cool. All right, there we go. Okay, so our shiny material here, we can double click our shiny with an E. Uh, and we can go ahead and get rid of this base color because we don't need that. Actually, you know, I'll leave that base color on for now. Um, and here's where something gets a bit kind of weird. With since we have roughness, we can uh, just move all this stuff up. We have roughness, so we got to uh, make sure we do this. Uh, do this organized. You go ahead and drag out from here. Type in texture once again. Texture sample. And drag out from this texture and type in texture again. Grab the texture object. Um, and we are, we're going to pick a material now. What I want to do is go ahead and we will pick something cool for this one. Maybe we'll do something like uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, we'll do we'll do uh, well, we'll do gold. We'll do gold 
in make sure that says in right there and you can see this this gold texture just has a little bit of speckles here and there which looks really sweet for detail work um, which looks really nice we can actually go ahead and um, the same thing for the base color here if we wanted to get rid of this uh, orange color we can delete that select both of these by holding down control uh, hold down hit, hit control W to duplicate them of course move them plug it into the base color change the texture object from gold in to gold D and now we have our gold texture yay and if you don't want this to be shiny we can get rid of this shine and make this a bit more matte by changing the roughness that we put in the last video to about 0.3 maybe maybe that looks good I don't know we'll see very subtle for that one very subtle which looks really cool very 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 subtle all right for the emission for the glow for the glow sphere I want to go ahead and we will uh, eh, this might look pretty cool we'll go ahead and drag out from the normal once again texture Oh, texture we'll grab the texture sample which is the first one it pops up on which is nice and quick texture object same thing once again third time's a charm I'll go ahead and scroll down we'll pick a um, uh, maybe, ooh, maybe we'll do we can actually pick ones that aren't the actual in property for this um, it's just that the the um, the normal maps work better which is uh, why that stands for M by the way uh, okay, so we can get rid of that mm, uh, emissive color there. We don't need that anymore. What I want to do is, um, did I miss a uh, fire in? Yeah, I did. Okay, fire. Um, and this might look a little weird because this is not supposed to. We're not supposed to be using that for the this type of spherical texture. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick another one. Uh, I just thought that might look cool. Uh, we'll go ahead. Uh, maybe rock. Yeah, sure. We'll do rock. Um, and we will uh, hold down control, duplicate, that looks super awesome by itself. Uh, control W, hold down both of those, control W. There we go, move those around, plug that into the base color. Change the texture object from the in to the D. There we go, and there it pops in. All right, so we can do some really cool rock things with this. As you can see, it just catches the light so amazingly. I mean, just look at that up there, right there. Just, just look at it. Just look, look at that. Look at, look at it catching the light. It looks, it looks so good. I just, I, I don't know why it looks so. It just looks so good. I don't know why. Um, we can do the same thing with this. Maybe it was raining outside, and we can go to hold down one to grab the same thing we did in the previous tutorial. I don't want to spend too much time on this. We'll plug this into the roughness, and um, and maybe now instead of having a, a matte rock, maybe it was raining outside. Yay! Now it's all, oops, now it's all wet and shiny rock. It's a it's a it's a wet and shiny rock now, which looks really super awesome. So we'll go ahead and save and apply that. By hitting save, it does automatically apply it. We'll go ahead and close this one. And for the final one, we'll do the same thing again. Just playing around with some more of these materials here, which looks super cool. Uh, metal, and we shall go ahead and do metal for this one. So we'll type in texture one more time. This is the this is the last time. Uh, hold down. Uh, we'll grab both of those textures, texture sample and texture object. We will go ahead and scroll down. I did see a what was it called? Uh, I think it was aluminum. No, no, I want to do steel. It was steel. Okay, so we'll go ahead and choose the in for steel. Get delete that uh, that green color there. Go ahead and duplicate. Actually, I want to leave. We'll leave that one for the metallic. Just move it down. Duplicate with Control W. Plug this into the base color. Change it from the in to the D. And wait. Alrighty, there we go for our um, metal. For our metal right there, we can go ahead and change the metallic to. Uh, you know what I'll do instead of metallic. Oh, you know we'll leave it on metallic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks pretty good. All right, we'll leave it on the metallic for that one right there. We can see we have some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I want. Yeah, well, that, that's good. I was gonna scale it down, but no, that's good the way it is. Alrighty, so we have our uh, brick. Looks like it came straight from Brazil, which looks really cool. Um, we have our uh, our yellow golden our golden uh, material there. We have our shiny lava rock. Kind of looks like a lava rock, maybe a little bit, right? A little bit there, which is totally my favorite. That looks really cool. And then we have our uh, our metal. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye.